All right, today we're gonna to talk about everyday carry. I don't know about you all, but I have to wear a vest. And with my vest, I have a couple of things, but most of the time, most of my stuff, I carry in my pocket. I'm not really a true tech anymore. I do more controls now, but still, usually even when I was a tech, I still carried the same stuff in my pocket. So anyway, we're gonna go over that. And if you guys and girls don't know who I am, my name is Josh, I do industrial maintenance, various different titles along the way. So, Welcome to the show and uh, let's get right to it. I have been trying this little thing out. It's a Klein, basic reading, 24 volts and 120. It's usually all I care about. Um, this thing's a hunk of junk, don't buy it. The things I carry in my vest all the time, gloves, I don't have them on me, but I have gloves on my vest. I have a light, Coast, Nico, both of them are really good. Nico is a bit of better flashlight towards me. If you haven't seen it, I, do a, I have a video on all the different flashlights I've used throughout the years and there's a lot of duds. A little tweaker screwdriver, obviously controls and little magnetic uh, reed switches. So you're gonna need a little tweaker. Uh, marker or pen, I use the ink saw. It's great for writing on things. Most of the time I write on my hand, like I'm not supposed to, but let's be honest, most of the time we don't have anything to write on and we end up writing on our hand and stuff. So it is what it is, but this thing is amazing. Writes on everything. I use it for metal fab, everything. So it's great. Okay, can't forget your lotto. I don't like the plastic ones so much. I like the metal ones more. They last, spray some dry lube and everything in there. Sometimes they'll be D40 and it works great again all over. Um, I've had these things for years and they last. As long as I'm not stupid and break the key, yeah, they're great. Some people like knives. Like I had this DeWalt one forever. You know, it's no Kershaw blade or anything like that. But my problem is when I go to use them, this one isn't broken, but most of my knives end up broken because I try to use them like a tweaker screwdriver or like a screwdriver and I break them a lot. So I have switched to the Milwaukee Fastback one. Uh, I like the razor blade because it's always sharp. If it's not, you just change out the blade, no big deal. And I don't tend to break them because I don't try to use them as screwdrivers. So uh, I know Milwaukee has one that's got an actual screwdriver in the back of it now. It's the actual bladed one. I like that, but as soon as they come out with a razor blade one that does the same thing, 100% I'm buying that and using that. Um, the little difference in design, I noticed the new one has this little thing on it. I don't care too much for it. I like this one better, but as you can tell, uh, epoxy and everything else just can't hold this thing together anymore. I've dropped it off the scissor lift a few too many times and it is what it is, guys. It's a $10 blade, so. Another very important tool, fingernail clippers. I don't know about you, but I get tons of hangnails. That sucks, and not gonna lie, there's quite a few times that I've smashed my finger and or whatever happens, and all of a sudden now my nails got this little chip or nick in it and it gets caught on everything. So fingernail clippers just always stay in my pocket. All right, multi-tool. I did a short little thing on this, guys. I'm not gonna go over that again, but this thing is just a kind of a placeholder until my Leatherman Squirt shows up. I'm gonna try that because it's got wire strippers on it too. Quite a bit smaller. I don't need all the other fancy stuff off this mine. Times out of 10, I just need a little tiny screwdriver, sometimes a number two, and a you know, flathead. So hopefully the Squirt works out better for me in that regard, so we'll see. But uh, I'll keep looking for the perfect uh, multi tool. If you guys have seen, I did this one. Uh, I've done several different ones, so check out some other videos if you wanna see the reviews on them. Because let's be honest, guys, I'm not going out in the wilderness trying to saw a little wood or, you know, use the auger part of it. All right, last but not least, these little four and a half inch Knipix. Uh, some people call it Nipex, whatever. I'm going to call it Knipix. Get over it. That's what I'm going to call it. You know, you can get some little channel locks. I have some channel locks too, but these just seem to be the best. This is just a good catch all, grabs everything. Uh, one of my other coworkers has like this little bike multi-tool kind of a thing. It's got a couple different Allens and stuff on it. Uh, I've been thinking about getting maybe something like that too, but my pockets are kind of already overloaded, so I haven't decided. I might just stick with the multi-tool and just go to my box if I need it. I'm kind of curious to know what you all carry too, because when I was a weld tech, I had weld tips and everything else in my pocket a lot too. And I had a little gauge that lets me know my stick out was right. I obviously don't need that right now, but I'm kind of curious with some other little tiny, you know, niches we, carry on us because our job requires this one little, you know, unique tool or whatever it may be. A short little overview guys, obviously the background changed a little bit, not so much just talking hands. You're gonna see my face a little bit. I got a lights, I got all this good stuff. So I'm working on all that, new microphone, new camera. So hopefully the quality gets better for you all and you all enjoy it. Some other videos coming up down the road. I wanna talk about learning outside of school. I'm trying to get some of my friends together and we'll talk about 
schooling is it worth it is it not on the job training better uh, we'll all work industrial maintenance or as electricians so that's what the focus is going to be not so much some of the other niches we have out there most importantly though smile it's going to be wonderful see you all in the next video